Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create a line chart using the Power BI Desktop. I'm quite impressed with the Power BI Desktop and its ability to help us mash data and create a da dashboard uh, quite fast. So let us begin. Uh, I'm going to be creating a dashboard on the GDP data, uh, which is the gross domestic product of various countries. I've got the data from here by downloading the data from data.oecd.org. And the data looks a bit like, well, it's the data looks like this. So you've got the location, which is Australia, and then it gives me the year, and then it gives me the value. So uh, let us get this data from the file that I've downloaded. And I've got this. Now, as you can see, I've got the country name as AUS and not Australia. So I've downloaded another file uh, to get the country name. So I've got the list of countries and the code. I'm using a different files, but you can probably use any file. Just type country code data set on Google and you can download any file you want. I've got this country code file, um, which gives me the country code. This is the code and this is a country name. So I want to get the country name. So here, instead of loading the data directly, I'll click on edit and uh, it will take me to the power uh, uh, query editor and shows me all the data. So I will add the country code file. So as you can see, the code for Australia is AUS and uh, Australia is AU and AUS. So what I want is the code on the right hand side. So I'll just first thing I'll do is load this data. And once I've loaded this data, I'll split this column. So I want to No, this is not what we want by delimiter, so uh, we'll define a custom delimiter. And click OK. So this is the ISO code I want. So I've just renamed this column. And what I will do is now merge this data with the country code column. on the basis of ISO code. So I want the country name and I will use an inner join uh, because there seems to be some codes which are not matching and at the moment I'm not concerned about those. So I'll just get all the data for which I can find the corresponding matching country codes. And I will define, I want to join on location and ISO code and click OK. So new, so it's what it has done is it has created a new column, which all which shows me all the contents of the country code file. I just want the country name, so I'll select that and click OK. And rename this column to country name. I will click close and apply. And what Power BI editor will do is, sorry, Power BI desktop will do is, is create a relationship between the two files, define a data model, compress the data, and make it available for us. So you can see the relationships on this by clicking on this relationships icon. So it has defined a relationship. You can look at the data by clicking on the data icon. So this is the country code and this is the GDP data. Now you can see, I want to see the data on the basis of time. I don't want it summed up. So I will go to modeling and say it should not be summed. Do not summarize on time field. And now we will go and create the line chart. So I will click on the line chart. Line chart is available to us. I will say 
just give me the sum the value on the basis of time so what it does is it shows us the gdp data for all the countries over a period of time but we want to see let us say we want to see the data for any particular country only so if we will add a slicer as well oops sorry so click outside this line chart so i'll just click outside the line chart and click a filter so it, a filter becomes available i will say i want to filter on country name so you can see that now i can filter the data on country name so if i select australia it shows me in 1980 what the value was and how it went up austria we know that china has had a really um, good growth spurt so let's see how the d data for china fares oh so you can see that it has just gone up drastically so in this video we learned how to create a small dashboard using the line chart and filter functionality using power bi desktop and how easy it was to create this uh, dashboard i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching